Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Philippe, I'm a French math teacher and I'm going to do a brand new tutorial series about KOS, Kerbal Operating System. KOS is a mod for the game Kerbal Space Program. I already did a tutorial for KOS but it was uh, in French and uh, the objective of that tutorial was to uh, send a probe from Kerbin to Minimus. I have explained a lot on this tutorial and uh, now the objective of this new tutorial is to make short video about KOS and to explain uh, some of the basics of KOS. And uh, the first video of course is to present the, the part of KOS. Uh, you are seeing here I'm uh, using the English dictionary, okay, so my game was uh, in French. I changed the dictionary to have the English uh, version of the game. Uh, this is the last version of uh, the game, the 1.12.5, and I'm not using any DLCs and I am not using any mods except, of course, KOS. So let's start a new game, a new sandbox game. Okay, let's call it YouTube, for example. Uh, I will put my the flag of my channel. And on the difficulty options, you can change the difficulty uh, as you want, but I just want to be sure that the COM network is enabled and I want to disable the extra ground stations and uh, require a signal for control. Uh, for KOS, you don't have to change anything. Okay, let's go. Okay, thank you, Gene. At the start of a new game, you have this window. In this window, you have to choose uh, how KOS will deal with the communications network. If you choose the second option, you will you'll have access to KOS uh, everywhere, even if you don't have any uh, communications on your probe. And if you choose the first option, you need to uh, you you must have a communications with uh, your, the network with Kirby. Um, I will choose the first option and uh, I show you later in other videos how to uh, to deal with that. <coughs> okay, thank you. So, uh, let's start with uh, a little probe here, maybe this one, okay. KOS comes with five parts. Four most important parts are here. This is the first one. Uh, the second one is here, the third one, and uh, there is a little one here. And the last part is uh, somewhere in uh, here, it's the cherry light. Okay, with the cherry light you can't write uh, any program, so I won't talk about, uh, about it. So let's see the, uh, these four processors. Okay, the, these parts are, are called processors or computer, if you if you prefer. And uh, if we look at the information here, each processor has a disk capacity. For example, this one has a capacity of ten thousand bytes. The unit uh, is the byte. One byte uh, is the space taken by one character you type with your keyboard. For example, if I press the letter A on my keyboard, uh, I have, of course, the character A, and that character uh, occupies uh, one byte on my uh, disk space. Uh, if I press the word uh, hello, hello uh, has five letters, so I need five bytes uh, in my computer. Uh, all characters uh, use one byte each. 
So if I press the space bar, I have the space character. So I need one byte for this, this character. So when I have 10,000 bytes uh, of space, this means that my program can hold 10,000 uh, different character, characters. Uh, it can be the plus symbol, the equal symbol, or any digits, for example. Uh, I can double this value. So from uh, 10,000, I can double it to 20,000 bytes. But doing this, I, uh, I have an extra cost and an extra mass uh, of the part. And I can double it again with another extra cost and another extra mass. So this part has a minimum space of 10,000. This is the default value and a maximum space of 40,000. It also requires some electric charge. I'm not worried about electric, but if you are the kind of player who optimize the electric consumption, you have to look uh, look at this. Okay, so this is for uh, this part. If you are uh, if you are playing in the carrier mode, uh, this part is uh, available on the level three of the tech tree. The second one is this one, the smaller part, and um, it is available on the tech uh, five, the level five of the tech tree. So um, this one has uh, a space, uh, has less space on um, the disk, 5,000 bit bytes. Uh, you can go to 10,000 bytes or 20,000 bytes with an extra cost and an extra mass. This one is good for little probe because you don't need a, 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 a big program for little probe and uh, you, you need to spare some space on the little probe. This one here is available uh, with the level six, I think, on the tech tree. Um, it has a bigger space, uh, 60,000, it's the default value. Uh, you know, this one uh, has 40,000 bytes uh, on this space at maximum. This is the default space, 60,000 bytes. You can double it, 120,000 uh, uh, bytes, and you can double it again with an extra cost and an extra mass. And this little one is um, on the level seven of the tech tree. And you see that the default uh, space is 255,000 bytes. So you can store a lot in this uh, little part. Um, if you double it or double it again, you see that the extra cost and uh, the extra mass is way more important than uh, in the other uh, computer or processors. Um, but when you get to the level seven of your tech tree, we can assume that your space program is uh, doing well and uh, you have the money to pay that. You can see that uh, each part of KOS presents a line called boot file. We'll discuss about uh, that in, uh, in a future video. We, I won't speak about this uh, right now. Uh, don't worry about this. Okay, that's uh, all you need to know about the part of uh, KOS. In the next uh, episode, I uh, will show you how to use a part, or how to open uh, the terminal to write a little script uh, for the a little probe. And uh, I show you a simple program. Thank you for watching and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.